Hello everyone, welcome to the second video of this series and in this video we are going to talk about the PHP variables. So if you are familiar with other programming languages like JavaScript then you already know what a variable is. They are some kind of containers who contains uh, information or data like it can be a text, it can be a number or maybe it can be a boolean like true and false. So in order to declare a variable in PHP, we just need to use the dollar sign and then put the variable name. So let's say we want a variable named text. Now we can apply the text here. And this line here doesn't got any particular meaning in PHP, right? So this is a string. We are going to talk about the PHP data types later. But as this is a string, we need to cover it up with the quotation. We can either use single quotation or double quotation, it doesn't matter. Now if you want to display it in the browser, we just need to echo it. So echo text, let's save and refresh the browser and here we go. We can use the numbers here also. Let's put a random number with a decimal. Now we can equate also. Let's save and refresh. Here we go. So in between this, we can actually put a bear tag. So let's use an HTML bear tag here, but it is a totally PHP script. So we need to actually equate without we cannot directly using the HTML code inside a PHP. Now it will put on a different line. You can also do it in this way. So we can close this PHP tag in here and start this PHP again. And inside it, we can use the HTML tag. But I think the previous way was much easier. So we can put different type of data in the variables. Now there are some rules about naming the variables so it will always start with a dollar sign and then we need to put a name for that variable also a variable name should always start with a text or we can also use the underscore let's say for this number we can start it with an underscore it will it is totally valid but it cannot start with a number. You can just name it something like that. And as you can see, the color has changed. So this is kind of an error and it will not work. If we save this, you can see that this squeezy line in between in below of this uh, text because this is an error. So if you try to echo it, it will show you an error. So syntax error, unexpected five, expecting variable. So yeah, we cannot use a number as the starting point of a variable, but we can use a number in any her other than the first place. Okay. So it will work. Also, you cannot add a hyphen in the variable name. So let's add create a variable here. Maybe uh, my is, and as you can already see, this is actually not valid. So we cannot use it, but we can use an underscore anywhere you want. You can use a number or any alphanumeric characters. Okay. But the variables here are case sensitive. Okay. We got a number here and it got a value of 34.6. Now if we put another variable by using the numeric like number, so the first character here is capital. Now we can put maybe 20. Then let's create another one and I'll just make it totally capitalize. And let's make it 30. Now we can echo different one of them. So this one is the number and this one is the totally capital one. Let's refresh and as you can see, we need to actually add the beer in between those. Otherwise, we cannot differentiate it. So the first one, 
is 34 which is this one totally lower case the second one is 20 which is the first letter capital and the completely upper case is got the value of 30 so variables names are case sensitive now let's talk about the variable scopes PHP has three different type of variable scopes the local global and static let's close this up so the variable scopes are local then global and static now let's talk about the global scope so if you declare a variable outside a function then it is it has a global scope and it can only be accessible outside a function okay so let's create a variable maybe a text or a number let's give this a value of maybe 10 and let's create a function let's give this uh, name of my function maybe so this is our function and if you want to echo it inside here echo number now we need to run the function here so let's do that my function and if we refresh it now you can see that it got a notice than undefined variable so the number is an undefined variable to this function because it cannot actually access the variable outside the function but if we just put it inside the function here let's save and refresh now we can see the value of 10 so inside the function doesn't have the access to an global variable which is declared outside the function okay but in this case this variable is declared within the function so if we declare a variable inside a function then this is this has a local scope and it can only be accessible inside the function let's rename it to maybe x and echo the x we can also change the value here a little bit now we cannot actually get the value for this variable outside the function if we try that let's echo the variable of x and refresh it you can see that this is an undefined variable so we cannot actually access a variable which is declared inside the inside a function so it is only accessible within the function not outside the function but we can actually make this local variable a global variable by using a method so we can use the global and then declare the variable here and align the value with that variable now if we save this and refresh we can see the value of that so just to make an another line i'll just echo the br tag here so now this 20 which is this one is accessible outside the function so by using this global keyword we can make a local scoped variable a global scoped variable okay okay so these are everything about the variables and in the next video we are going to talk about the PSP data types so see you in the next video